हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब फर्स्ट वी हैड चैलेंज टू इंस्पेक्ट एंड टू राइट वेरीफाई सेलेक्टर्स फॉर सेल रॉम एलिमेंट्स इट वॉज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल दैट इज सॉल्व बाय सेलेक्टर सब ऑलरेडी एंड वी ऑल आर इंजॉइंग दैट फीचर ओके बट नाउ द नाइट मेयर एंड द चैलेंज where we waste almost hours of time the nested shadow dom elements you see yesterday day before yesterday we did this uh, survey on linkedin how much time do we spend today to handle a web element inside nested shadow dom you see there are people who are wasting more than 1 hour of time there are people who are wasting 45 more than 45 minutes 30 minutes more than 15 minutes of time and it's not just time i mean trust me these are really expert those who are able to handle in 15 minutes generally it takes a lot of time lots of time and pain in reality you see for an example if you have to handle if you have to enter the value inside this element trust me guys the very first thing just to know that whether this is inside shadow dom or not yes that is challenge but yes with the help of selectors you would be able to know that but now if you see that this element you found that inside it is inside this shadow dom it is inside then this shadow dom is inside this shadow dom then this then th there is one more shadow dom then there is one more shadow dom so you will have to all the way you will have to look into the dom and if you miss any any one of them then your script will fail and your whole effort will waste and again you will have to look for where it is failing why it is failing whether it is actually you missed any element or whether you have missed any shadow dom right so it's really challenging and really time wasting here so for uh, and you how do you write this script for this kind of elements here i have written a simple uh, sample script here so you see that first we uh, in the uh, here to handle this element how we do that we come from the top level uh, root element and then traverse all through like expanding all the shadow dom and then reach to that element so here that was the same thing we are doing over here so i will not go through that detail so just to write this this much script it will take like tremendous amount of time and effort and the consciousness that one will literally tired but not anymore trust me trust me guys here i'm going to show you the next gen innovation which will make it possible to do this task just in few second with the selector sub 3.0 the nested shadow dom support is coming which will change this everything the history of handling shadow dom web elements it is going to change what you have to do you just have to do nothing just open selector sub that's all open selector sub and you see here you got every single thing here if you click on this copy button over here you see that first you see that selectors for host one the one which is there on the top this one then uh this one you got everything like all the host the information you read it here the, this element is inside four nested shadow dom okay so you got that there there are four nested shadow dom for this element the one which we have inspected so we will have to write this script for that and here you will get the default selenium java selenium script that you can of course like uh, add it and whatever you want because you already got all uh, selectors for all the uh, hosted shadow dom okay for all the host of shadow dom you click on this copy button come back to editor let me delete this code from here and replace with the one which we have copied now what we can do we can just execute our script and you will see that uh, and if you want this is the element on which we want to perform some action so here you can add that send keys method and let's say you want to enter some values selectors of 3.0 and anything you want to add it here you can add it that so now we are executing this and we'll see that how, uh, whether that is working or not so it will definitely work and you see that whatever 
we have the same task you must have done in R and with lots of effort but here you would be able to do it really quick and of course like uh, if you want to add more wait time or something that you can do because sometimes websites load slow so uh, that could be a like element not found error that could be because of uh, that website loaded slowly or something happened so you see that selectors of 3.0 value got entered in this and we have done it so this is going to come with selectors of 3.0 and it is going to help you a lot and will save a tremendous tremendous amount of time so this is the innovation number one of 3.0 and there are lots of such innovations which will save hours of time and will create the history so stay tuned guys subscribe to the channel and uh, press the bell icon you will be getting more updates and more innovations soon and we will launch this selectors of 3.0 very soon and hope this is going to solve your lots of problem and all your nightmares with that thank you thank you so much